the top five hitters to watch in October. Let's do that. Yeah, number five, your must-see position players to see is Xander Bogarts. This guy is underrated. But we got to saw it. We got to see it in the wild card game against the Yankees. This guy gets the, the party started for the Red Sox with a two-run bomb early in the game. Xander Bogarts is a stud. And if you guys don't watch him, you have to. He doesn't get all the love there. You know, he, he never really gets the love he deserves. This guy rakes, and you got to watch him. Coming in at number four, Freddie Freeman. This guy's just consistent. I, I love Freddie Freeman. He's got a swing that's different than anybody else's. But when all the when all the lights are on him, when it's October, watch out for this guy. He is he is a true professional. This guy just gets it done. So for the Braves to go anywhere in these playoffs, you got to he's got to get he's got to go on a tear. Yep, number three, Mister Electric himself, Tim Anderson. Mister Electric himself. You, you look back at the Field of Dreams game with one of the most iconic shots in, in regular season baseball history when he's rounding third, coming home, the fireworks and the cornfields are shooting off. This guy's a big game player. Tim Anderson is a big game player. I'm excited to see him in October because this guy rises to the occasion. He's a freaking stud. And now it's October. All the, brights are, all the lights are on him. The bright lights are on him. What can he do in October? Watch out for him. Absolutely. Number two, Carlos Correa. Yeah, kind of the same thing with Correa. He, he's, you know, he was a stud this year, by the way, an MVP candidate. He, he won't win it because um, my best friend Shohei will. But he's in that conversation. He's a top five MVP candidate because of how he did this year. But when the clock turns October calendar i guess you would say not the clock clocks don't turn it's the calendars that do carlos correa becomes a different animal this guy tears the cover off the ball he's a stud i look back at the alcs last year walked off the rays he he, he he's got a couple walk-offs in the playoffs walked off the yankees a couple years ago this guy in october dominates doesn't not hit balls hard so watch out for him and he's trying to secure the bag big off season for him great point this was a huge season for him. Where is he going to go? These could be, these could be, in my opinion, are his final game games as a Houston Astro. It was tough the other night, man. He walked off the field. the The crowd, you know, they gave him a standing ovation. They they did one of those things, you know, where they they pull him off the field and the, the crowd goes nuts and I start crying because I'm a sap. I didn't really cry, but <laughs> I, you know, baseball makes me emotional. This guy's a stud. These could be his last games. He's trying, to, he's trying to get that bag. Like you said, he wants to make that money, and this October will be big for him. Absolutely. Number one, the man himself, Mookie Betts. Not the best year in the world for him, but he's Mookie. Yeah. He's Mookie Betts. You look at jersey sales this year. Everybody this year talked about Fernando Tatis, Shohei Otani, Ronald Acuna, all those guys. Who was number one in jersey sales? Mookie Betts. When all eyes are on him, this guy is a stud, man. He is a stud. He isn't. He he's better than he showed in the regular season. We all know that. Look back to the the World Series last year against the Rays. This guy's robbing homers. He's hitting bombs. This guy in October is a must watch. And for me, when it comes to must watch hitters, Mookie Betts is that number one guy this year. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.